Struggling to connect your Hisense TV to Wi-Fi? In today's video, I'll dive into several troubleshooting steps to help resolve this common issue. From basic checks to more advanced interventions, I'll guide you through the process to get your connection up and running. Stay tuned as I tackle this together with you. First up, let's start with some basic checks. I'll show you how to confirm whether the problem is with your TV or your Wi-Fi network. Start by checking if other devices around your home can connect to the Wi-Fi. This will help us determine if the issue is with the network itself or specifically with your Hisense TV. Next, make sure that your Wi-Fi network is actually up and running. You can do this by looking at the status on your Wi-Fi router. No lights usually mean there might be a problem. Finally, double check the Wi-Fi password you are entering on your TV. It's easy to overlook a small mistake in the password, and that could be all that's standing in the way of your connection. Moving on to some basic troubleshooting now. A simple but effective method is to power cycle your TV. Just unplug it from the wall, wait about a minute, yes, a full 60 seconds, and then plug it back in. This can often reset any minor glitches and restore your Wi-Fi connection. Next, let's try restarting your router. Turn it off, wait for another minute, and then switch it back on. It's important to give it a moment because your router needs time to reconnect to the internet and re-establish all connections. Also, take a moment to check around your TV and router. Make sure there are no large objects blocking the signal. Sometimes, physical obstructions or even placing your TV too far from the router can cause connection issues. Try to clear the path or move the TV closer to the router if possible. If the basic steps didn't solve the problem, let's delve into some advanced settings. First, we'll look at the IP and DNS settings on your TV. Sometimes, simply switching from DHCP to manual, or vice versa, can fix connectivity issues. If you're switching to manual, try using a public DNS, like 8.888, which is Google's DNS. It's known for being reliable. Next up, it's a good idea to check if there's a firmware update available for your Hisense TV. Updates often fix bugs and improve performance, including connectivity. Go to the Settings menu on your TV, find the Support or System Update section, and follow the prompts to check for and install any available updates. Lastly, if those steps don't clear up the issue, try resetting the network settings on your TV. This will erase all previous settings and allow you to start fresh. Go to the general settings or network settings in your TV's menu and look for an option to reset network settings. This step can often resolve stubborn connectivity issues. If you've tried adjusting the settings and your Hisense TV still won't connect to Wi-Fi, it might be time to consider hardware issues. One common culprit could be the Wi-Fi module inside your TV. Signs of a failing module include inconsistent connectivity and being unable to detect Wi-Fi networks that other devices can see. If you suspect this is the case, it might be worthwhile to contact Hisensei Support or a professional technician for further diagnosis. Another straightforward solution is to bypass Wi-Fi altogether by using an Ethernet cable. Connecting your TV directly to the router via cable ensures a stable and fast internet connection. This can be a temporary fix, or even a permanent one if you prefer a reliable connection without the hassle of Wi-Fi. As a last resort, if none of the previous steps have worked, you might consider a factory reset. This will restore your TV to its original settings, just like it was out of the box. Keep in mind, this will erase all your settings and preferences. To perform a factory reset, go to the Settings menu, navigate to System, then Advanced System Settings, and select Factory Reset. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. This step can resolve deep-seated software issues that might be disrupting your Wi-Fi connectivity. That's it for the video. I hope these steps have helped you resolve the Wi-Fi connection issues on your Hisense TV. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more useful troubleshooting guides. Also, if you have any questions or additional tips that worked for you, drop a comment below.
I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.